Life is mostly just about solving problems. Think about it. Your job or business solves a problem and you get paid for it. If the problem is more complex, you get paid more. In other everyday situations, you are in a certain state and you want to be in a different state. So you come up with the solution to get to where you want. Every day, we solve a lot of problems. But the most important aspect is the solution. This is where self-awareness comes in. Our perceptions lead us to create solutions, and our perceptions are derived from our awareness. So when your awareness increases, you can come up with better solutions. Let us talk about the four levels of self-awareness. Once we reach level four, you will see the importance and power of self-awareness. Level one is the autopilot mode. We are on autopilot for most of the day when we do non-intensive stuff such as getting to work or when we just relax. It gets worse when you are hurting. Have you been hurt physically or mentally? Do you feel tired, lonely, stressed, unproductive? Chances are, you felt miserable and used the distraction to escape from the pain. We transport our minds to a different world, place, or time. From video games, staring at your phone, blanking out, wandering in the past and potential future, movies, binge eating, the possibilities of escape are endless. There's no pain when you escape, just a nice easy time. This leads to binging and losing yourself. Now there is nothing wrong with using distractions to escape. We all need something to keep us sane because you can't just bottle up the rest of your feelings and show only one. The problem is that you need to be aware of the distraction so you don't completely lose yourself. Think back to a time you were miserable. Did you have to think about what to do to distract yourself? No. The distraction chose you, and this forms a bad habit. What we need to do is to choose the distraction. You need to know when you detach yourself from reality. The distraction needs to be moderated. Don't remove all your distractions though, you will be hurting yourself. You need to modify the distraction so it doesn't hurt you. Say your escape is video games. Instead of wasting the whole night and staying up to game, you should game in moderation like say in your free time and continue on with life. The goal is to make sure you know when you detach yourself. Don't judge, just observe and correct it so that it doesn't hurt you. Once you know when you are tuning in and out, you can move on to the next level. Layer 2 is the layer of feelings. When you come back to reality, you will realize there are feelings that you have bottled up and you need to deal with. You will realize how you feel about things going on in life with your newfound perception. You need to sort out your feelings and understand what each of them mean to you. Don't bottle anything up, just allow them to happen. For some, they will think they reached the max level of self-awareness due to this new awakening. They were so used to being a zombie that their lives changed this drastically. But the truth is that emotions are endless, and they don't mean much because you can control them. It is possible to choose what you want to feel, but I will leave that for another video. Just plant the seed in your head that your facial expressions, posture, and body language can change the way you feel. Emotions are a very deep topic to cover, so to end this layer, just know that you need to be aware of your emotions to conquer this level. It will take time to be comfortable with all your emotions, especially when it goes against your ego and perceived self. Level 3 is the ego. Once you are more aware of your emotions and desires, you realize that you are not who you think you are. You start seeing your weaknesses, but you don't admit it. That's okay. Here's a breakdown of what you need to do. 1. Be open and curious. Don't be a know-it-all, unless you really are an expert in the field. We all overestimate how smart we are. As Charles Darwin wrote in his book, The Descent of Man, ignorance more frequently begets confidence than does knowledge. Once you learn a bit, you'll realize there's so much more to learn. Everyone should be a lifelong learner. Two, take yourself less seriously. We all want to mask our weaknesses and be the perfect person we show the world on social media. Know the negative or unpopular aspects of your personality and make fun of it. This way, people are more likely to forgive you for the flaw and may even like the flaw. 3. Realize there is nothing wrong with therapy and counseling. Understanding your feelings is nice and all, but by speaking to others, you can fix your problems in a better way than distraction. 
It's fine to distract yourself if the negative emotion time span is short and temporary, but when it lasts for a while, you should seek help. 4. Be willing to accept feedback. It's hard to find all your own faults. Be open to critique from those close to you. It will help you make great leaps in self-awareness. You might end up hating yourself. Don't. Learn to get over it and you will be at the top. As for how to get over it, it all depends on who you are. I don't have a one-size-fits-all answer for that. Level 4. You made it to the top. You reach self-acceptance. You accept your faults and play to your strengths. As you climb to the top, you have been improving your emotional intelligence. You may have heard of the term emotional intelligence and how important and beneficial it is. But first, what is emotional intelligence? Basically, it means you can handle your own emotions and the emotions of others. As you go through the stages of self-acceptance, you will develop empathy. Emotional intelligence includes a strong amount of empathy. You will understand others better because you went through what they are currently going through. You love others in proportion to how you love yourself. Yes, you have your flaws, but you accept them and you can forgive the flaws in others. You will be a better leader, friend, significant other, or whatever you want to be. Thanks for watching. If you want more content, subscribe. If you want me to cover any video topics, do feel free to leave a comment. And don't forget to smash the like button.